Hello and welcome back to English for You. I'm Seb. I'm Elsie. And we are talking about the differences between comics and manga. Yeah. So, do you remember how they're different from each other? Oh well, there's lots of ways that they're different from each other. Uh, firstly, comics are kind of a group project that、mm-hmm. everybody works on step by step. You know, there's somebody for each step of the process. Somebody is writing the story. Somebody is lettering the words. Somebody is doing the sketches that、mm-hmm. we learned that word,、um, and someone you know, is adding the color.、Mm-hmm. Right. So for manga. There is no color, only、mm-hmm. black and white. Yes, but both of them have、uh, one thing in common. Both comics and manga are enjoyed by a lot of young people. We know that manga has kind of a wider range.、Mm-hmm. Um, but what kind of stuff did you like to read or watch? We can talk about anime and cartoons too. What did you like to read or watch when you were, let's say, thirteen, fourteen years old? Thirteen, fourteen.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. Just I watch a lot of Taiwanese dramas.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Xiangju. Really? Like、okay. With handsome guys and、mm-hmm. w- beautiful women in the dramas. Okay, so it's not in Taiwan. It's not such a thing to watch anime and stuff when you're kind of that age. I don't think、mm-hmm. so. I don't think I so for teenagers. See. No. Okay.、Mm. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting.、Yeah. I think one of the most influential、um, anime series when I was younger than that, not thirteen, fourteen, more kind of like. Mm, between the ages of about、mm, seven and twelve years、mm-hmm. old was obviously Pokemon,、oh, which Pokemon. does have yeah it does have a a manga I think but obviously the anime was the thing that everybody was watching yes、um, but as we are going to learn today、um, these art forms especially comics and manga are not always necessarily for people who are twelve to fourteen years old and so we're going to be talking about that now in a minute so stick around. Comics versus manga. What makes them different? Comics and manga are created differently, but they are set apart by something else. The stories they tell and their audiences also present differences. American comics aren't all about the same thing, but it's easy to say that most of them feature superheroes. Comics are also made with young people in mind, especially with their exciting, action-packed stories. But manga have a much wider range of stories to tell. There are shonen, boys manga, which have action and adventure stories. Then there are shoujo, girls manga, that might also have action, but are more about love and daily life. Within these two groups, you can also see genres like horror, comedy, sports, fantasy, and others. It's also common to see manga made for older teens and adults. Some people enjoy the colorful and detailed comics from the U.S. Others prefer the variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. No matter which one you read, though, both are sure to be entertaining. So our article for day two begins like this: Comics and mangas are created differently, but they are set apart by something else. To set something or somebody apart, 那代表是使东西或人与众不同。那这边讲到就是呢，美国和日本漫画虽然产出的方式不同，但是真正让他们不一样的是其他的东西。Mm-hmm. Something. So something is making them different. Different.、Right. What could this thing be? Well, the article says the stories they tell and their audiences also present. Differences. Now, remember, we saw the word audience in day one. We're talking about the people who are reading or consuming this type of media. But we also saw the word present. Now, present is a verb. Remember, when we're pronouncing this word in the verb form, we say present, emphasis on the second syllable. Not like when we say the noun form, we say present. Same spelling, very different words. But Talking about the verb now, when something is presented, it is caused to happen or to exist. In the article, the fact that 
manga and comics tell different stories and are written for different groups of people causes them to be different. It presents differences. To ki- give another example, if you are in another country and someone steals your wallet, phone, and passport, then that presents a problem because you need those things and you're not in a place where you can easily get them. Here is another couple of examples that you that can show you how you can use present. A large class size presented many problems for the teacher, so the teacher had to deal with so many children that it made teaching difficult. We could also say that the language gap presented many problems to the American living in China. He didn't speak Chinese, and that made life difficult. Now, here's an example sentence using the same usage of the word. Being a gay person presents many problems for people living in some parts of the world. In many parts of the world, in fact, present 这个是动词的念法。那名词我们念作 present。最熟悉的意思就是礼物了。那文章说到啊，他们所叙述的故事和他们的读者也导致两种漫画的不同哦。And then the article says American comics. Aren't all about the same thing, but it's easy to say that most of them feature superheroes.、Mm-hmm. Especially those comics that come from the two big studios, DC, DC and Marvel. Marvel. Who are you more for, DC or Marvel? Ah.、Um... Maybe Marvel. Yeah, that's it's an easy one. I think the、DC's、stories in Marvel. Yeah, I prefer the stories in Marvel. I prefer the characters too.、Um, so we saw the word feature there as well, which is a verb. And when a magazine, a movie, a book, event, or anything else features something, they include that thing as something very important. So magazines often feature stories about famous people, or they feature people on their front covers. They have pictures of them on their front. Covers,、um, and then probably a story on the inside. Similarly, a book might feature a certain theme or topic. It has that theme and topic in it, and that theme and topic is important. Moving back to magazines, we can also use feature as a noun to talk about a feature article. That's a very important article that normally appears at the front of a magazine or is about the person on the cover. So your copies of English for You have feature articles, and those are about the person on the cover. If you close your magazines now, you'll be able to see who the feature article is about. So we have an example sentence now. The newspaper featured many shocking stories about the the war far away. Feature 这边当动词用哦，代表一点点点为特色，或是是点点点的特色。那我们的文章说到啊，美国漫画不是全都一样的，但是他们大多以 superheroes 超级英雄为特色。Who is your favorite superhero, Seb? Hmm, that's such a difficult one. I can say my favorite recent superhero movie. I loved the movie Black Panther. Mm-hmm. You should have K-pop. Mm-hmm. I thought. But who is was... your favorite superhero? Oh, Black Panther. I'm gonna say Black Panther.、Uh-huh. I really liked Black Panther. Yeah. Um, purely for the movie, I think. Okay, I、mm-hmm. think my would be Wonder Woman. Oh, that's another good movie, though. That's another <laughs> very good movie. I normally don't watch、uh, superhero movies, but that is another one that I saw and absolutely loved that one. Yeah. Right.、Um, so back to the article. Comics are also made with young people in mind, especially with their exciting, action-packed stories. With somebody or something in mind, 代表把什么人或是事情放到心中，也就是考虑到或是有鉴于。Mm-hmm. 那美国漫画呢，考虑到年轻的读者，特别呢有剧情刺激啦，充满动作情节的内容。那这边我们看到形容词 exciting， 解释为刺激的。那另外一个字叫做 action packed。Action 这个字啊，解释为动作。那 action movie 就是所谓的动作片。课文里面说到的 action packed， 它是一个复合形容词、哦，用来表示漫画故事是充满动作情节或是剧情非常刺激的。Mm-hmm. So we're looking at one of the very big differences now between comics and manga because comics tend to be focused in this specific audience,、uh, you know, superheroes, slightly younger audience, lots of action. And mangas, ha- manga have that too. But the article says, but manga have a much wider range of stories to tell. Now, a range that's a noun is a collection of things that are similar but a little bit different. You can you study a range of different subjects at 
school, for example, they are all classes where you learn something, but they are all about different things. We could also talk about the range of colors in the rainbow. That's the colors that are going from red at one end to purple at the other, and we can modify range in a lot of different ways. We can talk about a wide range, which is a big, you know, a lot of different things、uh, in one category, or we could talk about a narrow range.、Um, Which is, you know, a very limited number of things, and we can use wide range and narrow range when we are using the other usage of range, which is to talk about the limits of something from one value to another. So we could say a range from one to ten. That's all the numbers from one to ten. So we would say we could say that's quite a narrow range. There's only ten numbers, but a wide range could be one to a hundred. There's lots more numbers. In that range, and we can also use that for, you know, temperatures, anything where you're, you might look at a thermometer and you can see it's going up and down. There's your range. So we've got an example sentence now. This college offers a range of different language courses, from French and German to Tagalog. Range 这个字呢，代表种类。A range of something 代表不同种类的某个物品。那我们文章用到 a wider range of something 代表种类更多、更广。所以我们说的是日本漫画有更广的故事内容。Seb, if you look at the next sentence, there is a word spelled S H O N E N. Is that Japanese or Chinese? That is Japanese. Shonen. Shonen, shonen, shonen,、yes. like shonen in like Chinese, shonen, right? Yes, like so.、Shonen. Next, the article says there are shonen boys' manga,、mm-hmm. which have action and adventure stories.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so yes, adventure stories. An adventure is an exciting journey or experience that is very different from the ones we normally live, or it could be full of. Danger or full of excitement. If you've ever watched Star Wars, that's 星际大战 then you've watched an adventure story. It's also a sci-fi story. So Star Wars is a big story full of danger, excitement, and travel. So we can call it an adventure. We often use adventure to describe movies and TV shows, but we could also use it to talk about exciting things we've done in our own lives. We could call a vacation we took somewhere and ex- somewhere exotic an adventure. If it was full of action and excitement, or we could even emphasize that coming from one place to another place was very difficult or complicated by saying the journey here was an adventure. So, lastly, if you have a spirit of adventure, that means that you are eager to take risks and you like trying new things. You have a spirit of adventure. So, here's an example、um, of adventure which we could use in real life. My trip to Borneo was full of adventure. We hiked through jungles, rafted on rivers. And climbed tall mountains. That sounds like an amazing trip.、Mm. Mm-hmm. Adventure, 冒险 to go on an adventure. 那就是去冒险。那这边说到呢，有所谓的少年漫画。所以刚刚我们讲到少年，少年是日文的男生。少年，少年。嗯哼，里面呢有动作和冒险的故事。嗯、hmm. ，But what about the manga for? For girls. girls, well, we have another Japanese word here, shoujo, which is shou nu. So there are sh- there are shoujo girls manga that might also have action, but are more about love and daily life. That's I think a lot of Japanese manga tend to be kind of a little bit gender divided. So the boys ones are always kind of you know exciting and have a lot of action, and the girls ones tend to be a little bit calmer, a little bit kind of you know more romantic. romantic. Yes, exactly. So there are boys manga, there are girl manga, there are shonen manga. So in the shonen manga, there are action and there are love scenes, but it's mostly about love and daily life and the daily life. Within these two groups, you can also find a lot of different genres like horror and comedy. Within these two groups, you can also see genres like horror, comedy, sports. Fantasy and others. So there's a huge variety, a huge range of genres to choose from. But what are what is a genre? Genre 这个字啊，它代表的是电影啦，或是书籍的类型题材。Mm-hmm. 所以说呢，不管是少年还是少女漫画，你可以看见像是恐怖啦、喜剧、运动、奇幻等等的故事。所以我们在文章中看到 horror 这个字，它指的就是恐怖惊悚类，像是电影也有 horror movies、mm-hmm. 恐怖片。那再来呢 ，com。Comedy, 喜剧就是好笑的故事，好也会在这个
书本里面出现。那还有就是 fantasy 奇幻故事也会有哦。那再来还有像是 romance 爱情浪漫故事、mm. thriller。惊悚的故事或惊悚片，再来还有 animation， 像是电影里面的动画，我们就说 animation 这个字。So because there is such a huge range of different genres and different types of manga, it's also common to see manga made for older teens and adults. That's right. 专为青少年和成人设计的漫画呢，也是很常见的、哦。Mm-hmm. 那日本漫画呢，还有一个分类就叫做青年漫画。What is that Japanese word? S E I N. Seinen. 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 Hmm. Wow, you are very good at Japanese.、Mm-hmm. 这样的漫画呢 ？Really? I do. <笑> really? <笑> I do. 这样的漫画是青年漫画，为什么呢？因为刚刚那个字 Seinen。Mm-hmm. 就是日文的青年。Seinen. So、mm. yes, um, and that's one thing which I found very surprising the first time I went to Japan was that I went on the MRT, I went on the trains, and I saw a lot of adults reading manga, and I thought that's strange. You don't normally see people doing that, but you know, some people enjoy the colorful and detailed comics from the U.S. Now, detailed—that's、uh, another vocab word. There is an adjective, and when we describe something as detailed, we mean that it has lots of information in it. If we are talking about a detailed description, such as a detailed description in a book, or in a magazine, or in a police report, then we mean that lots of information has been given about that thing. We know exactly what that thing looks like or what it does. So, if something isn't detailed, then what is it? We could say it's vague. So, vague things. I、just give you kind of a loose or not very precise understanding of what something is. The website gave me a vague idea of what the hotel I'm staying at is like. I don't know what it's exactly like though, because there wasn't really a detailed description. So there's a sentence we saw: detailed and vague. So here is an example sentence of、uh, detailed. Now, Grandpa told a fascinating story about his life growing up during the war. It was so detailed, I felt like I was right there with him. Detailed 这个形容词呢，代表详尽的、详细的。那如果你把 ed 去掉，你会看到 detail 这个名词代表细节。那我们回到文章这边说到啊，有些人享受色彩丰富、内容详尽的美国漫画。What about others? Well, others prefer the variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. So, when we say one group of people how to another group of people, we can use some people, then add others. So, we just said that other people prefer Japanese manga, other people prefer variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. So, when we say one group of people how to another group of people, we can use some people, then add others. So, we just said that other people prefer Japanese manga, other people prefer variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. So, when we say one group of people how to another group of people, we can use some people, then add others. So, we just said that other people prefer Japanese manga, other people prefer variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. Both are sure to be entertaining. Wow, that today's English practice, we're going to learn is no matter 加上疑问词的用法 No matter 加疑问词啊，会形成所谓的副词子句，修饰主要子句哦。那解释为什么呢？解释为无论。那么 no matter 后面你可以加 what, where, who, when, which 后面再接上主词动词，逗号之后主词动词再出现一次，或者是我们还可以接上 how。No matter how, 后面就要加上的是形容词或副词喽，然后再加上主词动词，逗号之后再接上主词动词。那这样讲很模糊，我知道。我们来看看例句吧。我们的课文里面说到 ，No matter which one you read, though both are sure to be entertaining. 不论你读的是哪一个。两个一定都是非常会令你觉得很开心、很娱乐的故事。那再来一个例句喽。No matter how hard I practice this piano piece, I can't seem to get it right. 这边的 how 你会发现后面接的是副词 hard， 修饰右边的动作 practice。所以不论我怎么样努力的练习，我好像还是没有办法弹得好。Mm-hmm. So no matter which one you read, though, both are sure to be entertaining. Entertaining there is our last vocab word for today.、Uh, when something is entertaining, it makes us laugh or makes us enjoy ourselves. We often call TV shows, books, movies, and plays entertaining because their main job is to make people have fun and relax. A lot of people find comedies very entertaining because they make you laugh a lot. However, you wouldn't call a horror movie or a sad story entertaining, although they are forms of entertainment. 
That's the noun form of entertaining, and it's something that you know we do. Uh, to make us happy, or to make us relaxed, or to make us, you know, just take the edge off of work.、Um, we would say that a horror movie is terrifying or thrilling, while we would say that a sad movie is, or a sad story is moving. Now, this you've seen that I've used a few more adjectives there. That is because entertaining is an example of an adjective that we can form by taking a mood verb, a verb that affects our mood, and And turning it into an adjective by adding ing. So we turned entertain to make someone laugh or have fun into entertaining. We also saw thrilling, which comes from the verb thrill to scare. We could also talk about、uh, something amusing, something that makes us chuckle, makes us kind of happy. That comes from the verb amuse. Or we could talk about also something sickening, something that makes us feel like we want to throw up or makes us really horrified. That comes from the verb sicken. Now let's look at an example sentence. Though most people say that this TV show is entertaining, I find it boring. So boring is also another word, it right? It is because you can bore someone as yeah, well you, as find something boring. Right, you、mm-hmm. bore someone, or you feel bored, or the person is boring. Exactly. That entertaining 这个形容词呢，代表令人愉快的。那它就来自 entertain 这个动词，解释为使人娱乐。所以说呢，无论是看美国还是日本漫画，两种都会很有趣的。Mm-hmm. So which one do you prefer, Seb? Ooh, I think I'm probably going to go with comic book. Okay, I've read more comic books, and we'll talk about that in our for you chat.、Mm-hmm, we will. For you chat. So our for you chat today is: Do you prefer American style comics or Japanese style manga? Tell your classmates why. Right for、mm-hmm. um, um, American style comics, for me, there are too many words. I see. Right, so I don't.、Oh, sometimes English, I don't really understand、mm-hmm. what they're talking about.、Mm-hmm. But for Japanese style manga, I think it's they're easy for me to read. For、mm-hmm. me to understand, so I'll、mm-hmm. say I prefer Japanese style manga.、Mm-hmm. What about you? Hmm. I would say, as I said, I'd probably go for the comics more.、Mm-hmm. Um. As a kid, I used to read when I was very young. I used to read a lot of、uh, Tintin. Tintin. And that one is a lot more like. The American style,、uh-huh. where you have the speech bubbles, not so much text、uh-huh. like the manga.、Um, I read all. I think I read all of the series of Tintin. The whole in series in Chinese. In Chinese, <laughs> of course. Well, of course, it's <laughs> that's a lot of English, and it's aimed for kids. So you would have amazing English if you were reading、right. Tintin in English. But you guys can try that. It's a very good yeah, way of practicing、try. your reading、right. skills in English is to read comic books and manga because there's a little bit less reading to do than books.、Uh, but you. You guys talk about your preferred styles now. Do you like American style, Japanese, Taiwanese, Belgian? There's lots of different options out of that out there. So discuss your for you chat question now, and we will join you again soon for more exciting for you articles for English for you. I'm Seb. I'm Elsie, and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. Comics versus manga. What makes them different? Comics and manga are created differently, but they are set apart by something else. The stories they tell and their audiences also present differences. American comics aren't all about the same thing, but it's easy to say that most of them feature superheroes. Comics are also made with young people in mind, especially with their exciting, action-packed stories. But manga have a much wider range of stories to tell. There are shonen, boys manga, which have action and adventure stories. Then there are shoujo, girls manga, that might also have action, but are more about love and daily life. Within these two groups, you can also see genres like horror, comedy, sports, fantasy, and others. It's also common to see manga made for older teens and adults. Some people enjoy the colorful and detailed comics from the U.S. Others prefer the variety of stories and easy reading style of manga from Japan. No matter which one you read, though, both are sure to be entertaining. Vocabulary.
vocabulary review. Present. The singer presented a different side of himself with his new album. Feature. In 1968, Glamour became the first U.S. fashion magazine to feature a black model on its cover. Range. This restaurant serves a wide range of wines from across Southern Europe. Adventure. This writer is famous for his exciting adventure stories that take place on small islands and in distant lands. Detailed. Emily wrote down everything that had happened in the meeting in a highly detailed report. Entertaining. This children's TV show is both entertaining and educational. 智慧小补帖 Superhero. Genre. Comedy. Fantasy. The following program is from the Open Air Radio Network. The Open Air Radio Network is available in all major bookstores in the United States. If you have a question, please call 02-2364-4000. 02-2364-4000.